Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do this hacking coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all of my information. Um, I do, I'm putting a lot of stuff on my Patreon if you want to check that out. Uh, I put like a new stuff every day. And if you want to reach out to me, Patreon or Discord, those are good places. I try and get back to everyone. This is a, looks like a newer problem. Maximum number of balloons, not too many likes yet. Um, given a string text, you want to use the characters of text to form as many instances of the word balloon as possible. Such a weird pro okay, this is a weird problem, but uh, you're given a string text, so like any string, we're given pretty much any string. Um, I think they're all, yeah, lowercase letters only, it says it right here. Uh, but the text could be really long, right? And what we wanna find is as many instances of the word balloon, so random, but um, you can use, e it makes me think of Balloon Tower Defense. I don't know if you guys played that, but you can use each character and text at most once. Um, okay, so we can only use each character once, and we want to form Balloon. Return the maximum instances of Balloon that can be formed. Okay, so it breaks it down here for you, a nice color coding. So if we're given this, we only have all of the characters of the word Balloon once, so we return one. When we look at this, we have all the characters of Balloon twice, so we return two. Uh, leak code has none, so we just, or zero. So, um, I mean, it has an O, but, um, in an L, but, yeah, not even close. So, how do we do this? I mean, the, it's pretty easy, honestly. Like, this is a really easy problem. I think the answer is, like, in instant for anyone who's done, like, string problems before. It's probably one of the easiest, easiest ones, honestly. Uh, well, all I did is it's a linear constant space solution, uh, optimal solution. Just you make a char counts array of size 26 because it's lowercase letters. And if you don't know this strategy, if you're new to algorithms, you make an array. This is an integer array that represents the count of each character in the string we're given. So in this case, for example, we have... Um, four L's, we have four O's, we have two N's, two A's, two B's. We want to count the number of each character. There's no Z's, so Z would have a count of zero. So this array is, has 26 for the 26 letters in the alphabet. And what we do is we loop through the string, our string, I less than text.length, I plus plus, and we get access the current character, text.char at i, and we subtract a to convert it into an index. Oops, sorry for hitting the mic. We The current character, for example, if it was a, it would be a minus a, which is zero. So what it does is it subtracts the ASCII value. You subtract the current letter in the string we're given by a, to get the corresponding index of that letter in the array, or in other words, the alphabet. A minus A is zero, so we would access char counts of zero for position zero, because it's the first, A is the first letter in the alphabet. And then what we do is we see an A, okay, we increment the count. So it would be one in that spot now. So when we see a B, it would be B minus A. That would be one. Then we'd access char counts of one, the array of letters because it's the second letter in the alphabet you increment the count etc so at the end of it we will have this array filled with each letter's index in the alphabet and the corresponding when we access the index in the alphabet through this array after we loop through this and fill it up and increment the counts we will have a count of each letter in our string which is good because all we want to do after that is, what we want to do is we want to take, we know how many B's we have, we know how many A's we have, we know how many O's, we know how many letters we have to work with. And we want to take the lowest, it's almost like lowest common denominator. If we have a string like this, balloon, balloon, you can see right here, we're missing an N at the end. So we can only make it once. That's just from looking at it, right? So we would fill up this array, and what we want to do is we want to look through, and it's like, oh, look, we have two Bs, so we can make two balloons. We have two As, we can make two balloons. We have, we do L divided by two because we need four Ls to make two balloons because there's two Ls per thing. So each part of balloon, we want to check for the count of. 
and then we'll take the minimum of everything because the minimum of everything is the answer. For example, everything, we could have two of everything, right? We could have two sets of L's, two sets of O's, two A's, two B's. We could have everything to make two balloons, but if we only have one N, then we cannot make two balloons, right? This all goes to waste because you can't make two balloons. So the maximum instances of the word balloon is the minimum of each part of the balloon's occurrence. So that's all you got to do. We will just write that out really quick. The minimum is going to be equal to char counts of one, which is the letter B. That's the occurrences of the letter B in our string. Um, and then we will keep updating it with the math.min of the current minimum. And now char counts, what's the next letter? A, so that's zero in the alphabet. So the minimum of B, the minimum of A, and then we have um, B A L. <laughs> so L is the 11th letter in the alphabet, and we divide it by two because L occurs twice in each uh, instance of balloon. So we divide by two for repeating characters uh, because we need four L's actually. So uh, L O divided by two again because we need two O's, and O is. M, N, O, so I think that's 14. And then uh, N is the last letter. So we need N, which is L, M, N, O, so right before O, which is 13. And you don't divide by two because it's only one N. And that's it, you just take the minimum of each part and that will give you, you know, kind of like a lowest uh, common denominator type deal with the string on um, char counts. Sorry guys, can I ever do a problem without messing up a syntax? You know, at one point. So there you go. Optimal solution. Very intuitive. Very easy. Tried to walk through it because I know, I think there's a lot of people that I explain things and they're like, oh, that's easy. Go faster. But then there's some people that like just don't get it, even though I make it very clear. So I try to slow down like for those people. But I know I get annoyed when people don't go fast enough in these videos. So I don't know who I want to really target. I'm trying to stay a little bit in the middle here. So bear with me if you think I'm going too slow. Bear with me if you think I'm going too fast. I think more people want me to go faster than slower. But um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for everyone that supports the videos, channels, growing really well. So um, that's it. Really fun problem. Very, very easy. Just a perfect problem to understand a concept like this. And um, yeah, that's it. So I will see you in the next video. See ya.